heart go full. Today we're going to talk about the things that most people would prefer not to do or think about during flight training, which are what do you do when your engine fails? What do you do when your plane stalls? What do you do when you have to have really slow flight? Um, when you're too high when you're landing, what do you do? That's called a forward slip. Well, that's what we're doing today. We're going to review all our training on that. And trust me when I say I don't like this shit. Oh, that's gorgeous and filthy. Yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. Horizon looks pretty crisp. Yes, sir. Three zero. Number seven. Three zero. Number seven. Three zero. Number seven. Let's make it hard rate turn here. So we get out the traffic pattern, and we start off with slow flight. Traffic, uh, All right, so let's, let's, let's do some slow flight, okay? Okay. So we're going to slow the airplane down. Let's get into the, uh, the slow flight configuration. So reduce your power. Just so you know, it's very uncomfortable to fly slow as hell. The thing that I cannot translate is making a video about flying. It's like taking a picture of the Grand Canyon. I mean, you can tell that it's kind of cool, but you don't really get the real experience. We'll start putting the flaps in one at a time. So you don't feel the wind hitting you, the G's that you're yeah, feeling you dragging you to the in. ground, all that. But anyway. You keep at this level there. You got a nice job. One more. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep watching. Keep up up by turning base. They're going to need to add some power. Bring it up to about 2,000. Somewhere between 2,000 and 2,200. I'm trying to maintain uh, 65 knots. Okay. So power for the altitude, then you're going to pitch for the airspeed. Okay. Now we're in the slow flight configuration. Turn the fuel pump on, turn the landing light on. And we're just going to clear the area. We're going to do a 180 to the left, okay? So what he's talking about right here is clearing the area which means that we're looking around to make sure there's no other planes in the area that we could crash into while we're doing our maneuvers. So we turn 180 and then we turn another 180 the other way. This is just to make sure that we do have a good area to do our work. Right. Looks like we gained a little bit, so a little less power. Let's clean the airplane up, so get your power back. Cleaning up the airplane, that's when you, you basically put the airplane back in normal flying mode. Okay. You retract your flaps, one at a time. You retract your flaps, what you see right now. Let's slow the airplane down, bring that power back. We're going to do the power off stall with no flaps, okay? Oh, jeez. Alright, let's bring that power back. I hate power idle. off stalls. And now yep. we have to figure out what to do. We're going to start a descent. Like we're coming down the glide slope, coming down to the runway. Okay. So I'm holding the nose up and Jim has me slowing down, which is the opposite of what you want to do. Because holding the nose up with no power means that the plane cannot drag itself up. So then at some point it just drops and that is a stall and it sucks. And just start bringing the nose up like you're trying to flare. So here it goes, and there's the drop. It doesn't look like much, but feels like you literally you're you just dropped out of the air. It's kind of crazy. Climb up to three thousand three hundred. This time we'll go to the full stall, okay? Whoa! Oh, man, I just got get back. That nose, get that nose up. I just got back. Apparently I didn't do it right, so Jim wants to do it again and go to the full right, stall. We'll bring our power back and slow the airplane down. Jimbo can be a pain in the ass. If you don't do shit right, he'll make sure you do it and do it and do it until you're doing it right. Less power, less power. Slow her down there. So we're slowing it down, as you can see, and I'm pulling back the yoke. So the plane wants to Bring drop, but I'm forcing it to go Hold up. Hold that nose up. Don't let it come down. Less power. Now during this time, you're fighting gravity. You're feeling winds, and the plane is feeling heavy. You're feeling like you're about to go down. Uh, keep the wings level. Use the rudder pedals. 
Okay. Uh, More bank pressure. Keep that nose coming up until it drops. Your track is Cherokee 5 freeways. Keep turning left downwind 3. Ooh, and then the there's a buffer. There you go. And it doesn't look like it, but it's not a great feeling. Get your airspeed now, back. That's crazy because I didn't even do it the right way. You'll see later where Jim actually does it to show me because he doesn't like what I'm doing. Then you can level off 3,000. And let's turn around. We'll do a 180. Right. Start heading back towards the airport. Because we're going to do the power on stall. We're going to climb a little bit. I thought we just did that. We did power off. So power on stalls, that's when you're taking off and then your plane stalls because you pull back too hard or something. Alright, let's slow down the rotation speed to bring your power back. Rotation speed is a speed at which you pull your yoke back when you're taking off on the runway. Remember, this is a stall that occurs during takeoff. And we're going to try and climb over the trees. Jim thinks he's funny. Hold the nose up. Okay. Plus power. Copy that on Mammoth traffic. Just a bonanza entering a left downwind runway. Uh, full power. So you hear me huffing and puffing. That's because I'm feeling the ground pulling me, and I feel the plane just get heavy. You mind if I take the controls? Yeah, your controls. Uh, all right, I got the controls. Uh, why would I ever mind if you take the damn? Whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Actually, I do mind if you take the controls now. What do you mean? Because you're about to do some crazy shit. I'm just gonna demonstrate for you. Like I said, he's a pain in the ass. I guess I didn't do it right. We're gonna climb. So here he's doing the same thing. He's pulling back his power and really yanking back. See how almost vertical the aircraft is? That's what I was supposed to do, but man, that shit is scary, so. The buffet. Yes. The buffet is when you go up and then the wind hits your tail. It's a horrible feeling where you feel like the plane just shook. Alright, your controls? My controls. Right, you get the controls. Ooh, that was a great lesson on power offs, man. I've learned a lot. Mm. Alright, we'll come back to it. <laughs> Alright, let's descend. Come on. Yeah, we'll come on down to 2000. Copy that. 2000 over the highway. Alrighty. We lost the engine. What are we gonna do? Engine failure. So you're flying, and your engine just stops. This is what you have to do if that happens. Now what are we gonna do? Uh, try and restart our engine, right? Yes, so we go... Uh, fuel we pump off. Fuel pump. Switch your fuel tanks. Switch it now? Yes. Okay. Um, Alright, now check your battery, alternator, fuel pump. Check your magnetos. Rotate the magnetos, right? Check your mixture, yeah, one at a time. Okay. And then alternate air. Open up the alternate air. Okay. All right. Then you engage a starter. Squawking. Start. That's when you Change. pick Didn't a work. channel and nope. you talk right, to ATC. So we're gonna squawk. Seventy-seven hundred. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Go in the heaven. All right. <laughs> what? You could call ATC on one twenty-one five. You could declare an emergency on there. All right. Camera's gone. Moving on. Do your forward slip. This is when the plane is so high when you're coming in to land that you have to bring it down so you can get on the glide slope. And the glide slope is the correct way to land, but you have to force the plane to come down. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Left rudder, right aileron. Put that nose down. Right, left rudder. More left rudder. More and more and more. Put that nose down. down. More left, less, less aileron. Now you notice I'm operating the rudders with my feet and the ailerons with my hands. So here we're forcing it down. We've crisscrossed the controls. So the ailerons are right and the rudders are left all the way. Which is what you're not supposed to do generally because then the plane doesn't know which way to fly. Don't pull back. There you go, there's the glide slip. Let the slip out. Add your power. Then resume a normal approach. There you go. It's not that a very good. comfortable thing to do and you kind of got to know what you're doing, but that's the thing about flying. You're constantly doing 10,000 things at the same time. And I guess that's kind of the exciting thing about it too. You realize you can I actually multitask, even if you didn't think you could. Speed. Now, I, I feel, feel 
favorite yeah, part. Get that nose up. Just a little bit more back pressure on the center line. More back pressure. Keep easing that back. Jim's pressure. from yeah, Philadelphia and he's so fit. Smokes, stacks, back breaks, pressure, ease on brakes. Yeah, Philly nice guy. That was a great lesson, man. Yeah, you did good. Uh, I feel good. I mean, good, the whole baby. lesson was awesome. Yeah. Not just me. No, I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Wings traffic, Archer 461, Fox Trot Alpha, clear, one way, two, four, wait. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, but otherwise, once again, Dunlady out.